Howdy, welcome to the Big Blue Workshop. This week we're actually building another game for the Indian Guides. This will be called Walk the Plank. The idea is the Indian Guides will walk out onto a plank that's in the water, they jump off the plank onto a raft and see how far the raft can flow. Uh, may have a finish line somewhere with a rope in the water. Uh, the whole camp out is themed around pirates, so we'll have a sword fight where we use uh, foam pool noodles. We'll have a treasure hunt where I've built some treasure boxes and they'll go track down treasure filled with candy, of course. And they'll have a pirate crew race and they have all kinds of fun. Uh, but check this video out, see what you think about it, subscribe if you like it. Um, just take a look also at Snickering Moose is my other YouTube channel. It's got uh, some of the videos from the campouts. You can see what we do there. Enjoy and come back and watch more. Here's a little preview of what the Walk the Plank game looks like when it's finished. I started with three quarter inch, really cheap plywood and uh, cut it down, uh, basically cut each sheet into three strips. And then I framed it with two by fours that I cut in half. So I ripped these into two by twos and uh, made pretty clean frame structure. And then down the uh, middle of the board, I just put three supports that are just two by fours, uh, cut the width of the, of the frame itself. I went ahead and pre-drilled all my holes and I fastened the frame together with two and a half inch deck mates. Um, they tend to be coated and I figured would hold up a little bit better in the water. Once I got the frame put together, I just skinned it with the three quarter inch plywood and I used inch and a quarter deck mates to uh, just hold it down. I did not glue this because uh, I knew that I'd be in the water and I didn't have any type bond screws available. So I think the screws will hold it just fine. Since children will be running up and down this with bare feet, I figured it'd be a good idea to hit it with a random orbit sander and just knock the rough spots down uh, just enough to where I could put some paint on it and the kids wouldn't get splinters. I love this little 12 volt Bosch laminate trimmer. I uh, put a half inch roundover bit on it and just knocked off the, the edges of the plywood and again that's just to keep the kids from uh, getting splinters. I set up a stop block on my miter saw and cut all the legs to length. I used three different lengths of legs so that I could have the ramp go from short to tall and it worked out pretty good. Yes, I know, a chalk line would have been the way to go here, but uh, since this really isn't a, a cabinet job, I just needed to have a rough estimate of where the middle leg needed to be cut. I just ran a tape measure and hit it with a pencil and that worked just fine. Yes, I'm using a calculator to figure out how much overhang I need. I realized that uh, the, the foot for the end of this thing was not a perfect dividable length, so I had to use a calculator. The idea here is that end piece needs to sit on top of the sand in the water yet the feet on the short end can go ahead and sink to anchor it. So I just put a foot on this end and then I left the feet exposed on the shorter end.
Once I got them put together, I pulled out the old Harbor Freight airless sprayer and bought a cheap can of outdoor oops paint from Home Depot and sprayed it down real good. And this is more just to keep the splinters from popping up and to protect it a little bit from the water. Each of the four teams will have a color, so I masked off a stripe on the end of each one and painted each one with a different color so the kids can tell which one's theirs. We took them out to Lake Ray Roberts. The kids had a great time and uh, nobody got a splinter, so success. Be sure to let me know what you think about this in the comments and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Have a great day.